Hello everyone, thank you for watching the Bean Bird 2 channel uh, where we talk about testimonies and the goodness of God. And today I want to talk about heartbreak. It's something that unfortunately is a part of the living experience and I've been through heartbreak in my life and I remember feeling those times of gut-wrenching pain in the depth of your soul and just feeling like I'll never be happy again. You know that sense of sorrow and despair maybe you felt like you'll never love again or you'll never feel again or that like this is the new normal um, and that you feel overwhelmed or maybe alone maybe you've done something and you feel like people will never forgive you people will never forget what happened and you think my life is ruined it's over I may as well not even be here anymore um, feeling that type of sadness and brokenheartedness can make us feel numb. It can lead us to feeling avoidance, escapism, wanting to run away, um, feeling like we just want to be alone and not interact with our friends anymore. Sometimes we can experience so much pain that we don't even feel like we have the strength to pray for ourselves. And uh, these are times when we need people around us to lift us up in prayer and we need Something like this, or a video that can pour into you some scriptures to help you when you're feeling downcast, when you feel hopeless, when you feel brokenhearted, when that pain is fresh. And um, sorrow is a real thing. And um, it's hard to, um, at times, get out of it when you're feeling something so strong. Uh, but if it's something that uh, you have done, People do move on and people do forgive and people do forget and um, of course the Lord always forgives. But if it's a broken heart from the loss of a loved one or maybe um, a, you know, like a death in the family or like just a broken heart from someone you love, um, there are Bible verses that we can lean on to support one another and remember these things. Um, so in Psalm 73, 26, it says, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. And in Psalm 34, 18, it says, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Psalm 147, 3, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30, come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. In Jeremiah 31, 25, I will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. Psalm 109, 16, For he never thought to show kindness, but pursued the poor and needy and brokenhearted, even to death. Psalm 46, 1, God is our refuge and strength are an ever-present help in times of trouble. In Psalm 9-9, the Lord is a refuge for the oppressed and stronghold in times of trouble. And it's important that we give that broken heart to the Lord because he restores. And when you give him just even your brokenness, it, you're like, I have nothing to offer you except this brokenness. God will take that and turn it into something beautiful. It helps if we're able to have a situation that you can pour your pain into a service and helping others. Um, there can be tremendous fruit in that. Um, so in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, it says, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. And God does care for you. He cares that you're hurting, and he wants to mend your broken heart. Psalm 55, 22, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Psalm 145, 18, the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. The Lord cares. There's so many verses here that show his tender loving care. And all these verses are evidence that God is good and he wants good things for your life and he cares and he sees you when you're hurting. Psalm 34, 8, taste and see that the Lord is good. 
Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Jeremiah 17, 7, Blessed is a man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. Proverbs 16, 20, Whoever gives heed to instruction prospers, and blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. And we can have peace when we're broken. John 16, 33 says, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. John 15, 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. And Ephesians 2, 14, For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility. And he cures you when you cry out to him. Um, Psalm 145, 19. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He also hears the cry and saves them. Psalm 10, 17. You, Lord, hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them and you listen to their cry. Isaiah 61, 1. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that the captives will be released and prisoners will be freed. In Psalm 34, 17, the righteous cry out and the Lord hears. He delivers them from all their troubles. In Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 16, 3, commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. In Psalm 37, 5, commit your way to the Lord and trust in him and he will act. And then to remember that uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says that we live by faith and not by sight. A uh, time of sadness in your life will pass. You won't feel like this forever. And though in extreme circumstances we may feel like giving up or even be suicidal, we have to hold tight to the truth and know that God does love you. He does care for you. He will lift you out of your despair and that whatever you're feeling is going to pass. It's not forever and it's not permanent. You know, the Lord has a hope and a future for you. He wants good things for you and he will heal your broken heart because the Lord God is a restorer and out of broken things comes new life, new beginnings, new opportunities, things that you can't even imagine right now where you are today, but the future has new opportunities that await you. God is aligning the steps in front of you of a righteous path that he wants to walk with you on and um, Whatever you have in your life that's broken or that you want restored, I just want to encourage you to lay it at the Lord's feet, give him all the pieces, give him the mess, and he'll turn it into something beautiful. Thank you.